Love tracks are a living proof that there's no such thing as an Athens, Georgia sound. REM and the B-52s both have their own distinct styles, and Love Tractor is something else again. If anything, they're labeled as a guitar band, but guitarist Mark Klein says uh, there's a simple reason for that. Love Tractor's been known as a guitar band simply because guitars were the instruments we always afforded and had sitting around. Now, as our fans have noticed, anytime we grab a hold or can afford a new instrument, we'll always incorporate that, as long as we can satisfactorily incorporate it into our sound. Love Tract has been refining their sound since the beginning of the decade. In that time, they've harvested five albums, and their latest effort is titled Themes from Venus. They've shot two videos from it, and both were produced by friends of the band rather than big name people. Mark Klein told us why. The reason we decided to use uh, our friends as producers for our new videos rather than outside producers was the fact that we wanted to have complete quali quality control on our material as we did with the producer on this album. People always ask us about fame or selling out, and we're really not concerned with that. We're more concerned with the quality of the music and the production of it ourselves, and that we appreciate what we do. And if we're happy with what we've done, then we should hope that the public is, but people have tried to get us to sell out and, and, and get big time producers to do such and such things with us, but we just can never work that way. We have to have our own hands on and, and satisfy our own needs artistically rather than commercially. Venice was the first video from Love Tractor's latest album, Themes from Venus. The second video, for a song called Crash, is a little more slick. And as for the song itself, lead vocalist Mike Richmond told us it's not exactly party train. Well, it was, uh, I wrote the song inspired by the, the British novelist James Ballard. Uh, the novel is called Crash, and it, he describes it as the first pornographic novel, novel uh, using technology. And the two twin light motifs of the 20th century, sex and paranoia. Right now, this looks like a decrepit, abandoned old church. But 10 years ago, it was a decrepit, abandoned old church, but with REM inside of it. People in Athens are very protective of the B-52s and REM. They're, they're really sort of adored in, a, in an almost religious way. Right now, we're putting a program together. And if there are deals here to be made, then we will make a deal here. And how do you go about doing that? We don't know. <laughs> we might need a little coaching from management on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just come and do our show, and people want to talk to us. We, talk, we just sort of come in and do the show and leave. A we'll record home. of new material is a good place for a lot of people to hear it. So you would get your manager to introduce you to various A&R people from the different labels? Or hopefully they just introduce that themselves. Sounds like a good program. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not businessmen. We just sit around in Athens and make music, so that's why we have managers to deal with that for us. Uh, now, John, you just joined the band um, from Guadalcanal Diary. Are they no longer in existence? There are, might be some hopes for a big money reunion tour, but we need that, uh, that uh, beer company sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to let you go, though. That's right. Okay, well, good luck looking for your deal. Yeah. And here's a love track, the video uh, dating back to 1986. This is Party Train. <laughs> 